In this part, we're going to be modeling the front bumper piece we have over here. So to begin things, let's take this front bumper mesh here and go into edit mode. And let's take these two vertices, hit shift and D and move it down in the Z and press B to separate the selection. Now let's take that and then let's trace the contours of the image we have over here. So I'm going to move this down in the Z until it matches here. And let's take this and move it in a Y. Alright, so now that it is close on all the images, we can now take this edge and move it in the X axis to about here. And let's put in about three extra loop cuts, or maybe let's just put in two. And I'm going to move them in the Y to try and then follow the edge of the piece we have over here. So I'm going to move this back to about here. Let me move it in the X a bit. So to about there. Let's make sure the spaces are even. Alright, now let's take this vertex, extrude it up in the Z. Basically, what we're going to do is to trace the rest of this edge we have over here. All right, let's get into full screen here and into top view, and let's define this edges a bit more. This vertex needs to move out a little bit to about here. And let's take this and move this out a bit as well. Take the whole thing, move it back inside. And let's take this, let's move this back inside like this. And I think things should be looking much better. Now this image here is a bit misaligned, so we're not going to be paying too much attention to the one we have down here. So let me just move this down in a Z and move it in a Y a bit. And let's add extra vertices to here and define this curve a little bit more. Let me get to the side view and see what we have. Let's align these vertices with the bumper here. So I'm going to move these back to about here. Let's take the whole thing and let's move it inside to about somewhere here. Maybe a little bit out. So let's keep it about somewhere around here. Let's take the rest we have over here. Let's go into top view. And let's move it inside to about there. Let me take this and move this out a bit. And the next thing I'm going to do is to trace the one we have over here. So I'm going to take everything we have here and move it down to about here. Make this the active element and let's change our pivot in point to active element and then scale in the X axis to about there. Let me get to the side view and see what we have. I'm going to get back into camera view and out of full screen. And let's try and align this in all of the images in our viewport. Let's take all of these vertices here and duplicate it down to fit this edge we have over here. Let me slide this one out a bit and now let's start filling in some faces. So I'm going to take these four and hit F and let's hit F to about this point here. I'm going to take these four and hit F. Now let's press F to the right side there. Now let's put two vertices in here. Now let's see how we can align this first. So let me get over to the top view and see what this looks like. Now we can have to follow this curvature we have at the top here. So let's take everything, press G and then Y, and move this back inside like this. D select this, and move it inside to about there. D select that, and move this in here to about there. Let's define that curvature a bit more. So something like this, maybe a little bit more till we have something like that. Now let's take one, two, three, four and hit F. Let's deselect these two and hit F twice to there. Now let me take the whole thing and let's move it in a Y just slightly like that. Let's recalculate the normals. Now I'm gonna put two extra loop cuts in here 
Now let's get to the side view. And I'm going to move this in the Y axis just to follow that curvature we have on the left, like that. Now let's take these four and let's press F, take these two and press F twice. Now let's fill a triangle in here for now. Let me take this vertices here. Let's get to the side view and see what we have. Let me deselect this and move these out a bit. Deselect that and move this out a bit. Now let me take the ones we have down here as well. Now let me hit S and Y and scale those in a bit as well. So I just made this the active element and then just scaled in the Y axis. All right, let's scale it up in the Z a little bit. Now let's take the whole thing we have in here. Let's get into camera view. And I'm going to press F to fill in a face. And let's hit I to insert faces in here. And let's hit Control B to limit it to the boundaries. And then let's insert to about here. And let's press X and delete the faces. Now let's make sure the edge we have here is touching the front bumper. So what we're going to do is maybe we might have to move the front bumper in a bit. So let's just get to the front view. And let's take the front bumper, just this area. And then let's move it in the X axis a little bit, like that. And also we're going to take this one. Get into the front. Now let's move that in the x axis a little bit as well. Something like that. Now let's take these and move them in the x axis a little bit as well. Now let me take the insertion we made and let's move it out just a bit. So I'm going to move it out to about somewhere here. Now let's take these three vertices and move them out a bit more, like so. Let me take this one and move it in a bit. Now let's take the loop cuts we have in here and let's extrude it in the y axis to the inside, like that. Let me move it a bit more to the inside and let's get back into the camera view and it should end somewhere around here. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit Alt and S and then shrink this out until they align with that edge all around like that. All right, now let's do the same thing with this. We're going to extrude it in the Y axis to the inside like so. Let's get into the camera view and let's just hit Alt and S and shrink it inside a little bit like that. Now let's take this as well, extrude it in the Y axis to about there. Or you know what? Maybe let's take this extra vertex on top of that. And let's extrude the whole thing to the back to about here. Let's just take this vertex, press S and Y and type in zero. Now let's take these two vertices and press F to fill in a face in there. Now let's go ahead and in adding a subdivision surface modifier, or let's enable the one that is available on it. Now this is what we have to define. So what we're going to do is to go around and then adding supporting edge loops to this piece to define it even better.